Johnny Cream here at Hershey Park. Welcome to the first episode of the Cream Filling at a Theme Park. It's a beautiful fall day out here in September, and I am ready to crush some sweets. Let's go. First up, taking down this monster chocolate peanut butter donut covered with Reese's Pieces. <laughs> Don't even know where to begin, so I'm just gonna dive on in. There's a lot of chocolate berries on top of that. Would be better if it was a little warmer, for sure. I like the little Reese's Pieces. Don't want more peanut butter on it, though. It's mainly just like a very thick chocolate glaze on top of a massive donut. Let me get the, my face hella messy and dive right into that middle. I like having the little crunchy bits. It's a nice change of pace for the texture. I love the little peanut butter bursts. Pretty good, but definitely wish it was warm, and definitely wish there was more peanut butter, like maybe an extra peanut butter drizzle or something on top of that. Starting the day off with a Great Bear hot dog. This has cheese sauce, chili, and bacon, and this is going to be one of the messiest things I've ever eaten, so I have like 20 napkins standing by. It runs together a little bit. I think I would like something sweet or tangy to counteract all the richness. But I mean, it's a chili cheese dog with bacon. It's delicious. All right, we are doing some cheese curds now from 1906 Grill. Solid cheese stretch. These are pretty much just mozzarella sticks. They're not really cheese curds like you'd have in Wisconsin or something. They're a little bit chewier. I mean, they're good. It's fried cheese. I was hoping for a real, actual squeaky cheese curd and not just miniature mozzarella sticks. That being said, it's still pretty good. Now we have a section from the health food of Hershey Park. This is a literal bucket of french fries and they are covered in ranch, bacon, and cheddar cheese sauce. Uh, so to wash that all down, we have a nice mango smoothie, some cool and refreshing with all of this nice, hot, bacony goodness. Mainly getting bacon and ranch, not, not getting the cheddar cheese just yet. The fries are nice and hot. I don't know if you can see them steaming up, but they're right out of the fryer. The fries themselves are good. I like the bacon bits, nice little chewy texture contrast. I'm just kind of like, where's the cheese? I don't see the cheddar cheese sauce on here. The ranch has a nice tang. It's obviously still a very rich combination, but it goes well with the fries. Towards the bottom, the fries are starting to get a little bit soggy, and it's almost like I'm eating mashed potatoes the way they blend together, which isn't a bad thing. I prefer crispy fries, but mashed potatoes with bacon cheddar ranch, also not too bad. So this is a uh, mango smoothie from the Making Whoopie Pies stand. Looks kind of like a Slurpee almost. A little bit too artificially of a mango flavor. Uh, nice and smooth though. Feels good to trick myself into thinking I'm having some healthy, oh hello B. Oh, well that's gross. <laughs> Feels good to trick myself into thinking I'm having some healthy fruit after such rich fries. All right, now we're doing making whoopie pies. Uh, we got one original chocolate with regular vanilla frosting. By the way, this is Chirp, my usual camera woman who wanted to join in to dive into the whoopie pies. And then I got a pumpkin whoopie pie with cream cheese, so the basic white girl version of the whoopie pie. Cheers. Mm. There's no way you're beating the cream cheese filling on this. Holy shit, this is just icing. <laughs> Yours is also like double stacked with frosting. There's a large difference oh in the amount God. of frosting between our two. Oh. I feel like I'm eating an icing, icing cheeseburger. <laughs> <laughs> this is like not too, too much. It's still a ton of icing. To be honest, the like actual crust part itself is all right, but the cream cheese filling is so good. One more bite right. and then trade? Yeah, sounds good. It's got a nice like texture mm -hmm. where it's like super soft cake with like a little tiny bit of chew to it and then the icing obviously so smooth and delicious mm, all, right, all right ready to switch them up yeah mm. oh shit oh shoot i actually like this cake better this one's a little bit firmer the pumpkin's a little bit dense yeah you can see like these are both like this is thinner in both the cake and the cream this one's like thicker and a little bit fluffier less dense they also gave us a ton of icing on there i think i like the chocolate cake a little bit better but the cream cheese frosting we should have switched it mm. it's still good though yeah we, w we could have created the one ultimate whoopie pie if we went chocolate with cream cheese icing on the inside mm -hmm. very this good this is probably my favorite thing we've had so far these oh, yeah. are delicious 
Now we're doing the walking taco. So this is a essentially a bag of Doritos that they just scooped in some ground beef and cheese, pico de gallo, and lettuce, and then I'm gonna do a little squirt of sour cream on this. It's basically just one of those old El Paso tacos, but instead of in a shell that immediately falls apart, it's all over Doritos. I will say it, it needs to be mixed up a bit because right now I have sort of a mountain of lettuce and cheese sort of digging down, mining to the bottom to get all of the uh, Doritos and delicious meat. I also made the crucial error of ordering my toppings in the wrong order. Definitely should have gotten the cheese on top of the meat since the meat was actually hot and would melt it. You live and learn. Mm. Honestly, it's really good. I mean, I still love those gringo old El Paso tacos. They're not like the greatest or most authentic, but they taste good. And then, yeah, hell yeah, put it on top of Doritos. Why not? It tastes delicious. Hard to get optimal bites sometimes, but definitely a winner. So I just saw the back of this and thought that it was pretty funny. There's an instruction manual here where it is uno, tear, dos, top, trace, shake, was definitely too full to shake up, taco. <laughs> Step four. Also, I guess these are sold for at-home consumption or something because it has a warning here to not microwave the bag, which I don't know if someone could maybe fit a small microwave, like a fun cooker or the bite nuker into their backpack and bring it into the park and find an outlet and plug it in. Or if they're taking their walking taco and putting that in their backpack, bringing it home and putting it in the microwave in the bag. Either way, I find that one of the more hilarious warning labels that I've seen on theme park food. What's really great about these is you can take them on the go. <laughs> Perhaps the piece de la resistance of Hershey Park cuisine, the crab fries from Chickie and Pete's. There's no actual crab, it's just some delicious Old Bay-esque seasoning and a side of warm cheese sauce, which that's a winning combination if I've ever heard one. You can never go wrong with Old Bay seasoning. It's just a little bit salty, but I love the spice coming through, and that pairs perfectly with the warm cheese sauce. I think there's only one way to possibly make this better, some cold beer from America's oldest brewery. These are exactly as advertised. These are nice and still a little bit crispy on the outside. Mm, love the seasoning and I love the pairing with the cheese. Top of the line. In these two super fun color coordinated straw drinks, we have a classic fresh squeezed lemonade and a watermelon fresh squeezed lemonade. They had a ton of different flavors, but watermelon is the flavor of summer and this is one of the last weekends of summer. Let's dive in. I'm a big fresh squeezed lemonade guy. I don't know if this will beat the Hillstone slash Woodmont Grill lemonade, but we'll see. It's a little watery. I, I would definitely want some more of a hit of like lemon sourness. I kind of crave sourness when I have lemonade. I despise like artificial lemonade, like Minute Maid and stuff like that. You can tell that it's made with fresh squeezed lemon juice, but it's just a bit watered down. I get a little bit of the sweetness, but not enough of the tang, which I was really hoping for. Such a bummer, because I like super dig the yellow straw and everything. Yeah, bit of a bummer. Hopefully some watermelon sugar will turn it around with my little loop-de-loop -loop straw. I like barely taste a thing in this thing. There's like the slightest pinch of watermelon flavor in there, which is shocking because this is really brightly colored and it looks delicious with that little half of a lemon wedge squeezed out in there, but it needs more lemon. It really needs a good bit more lemon um, to have some tang to it and more watermelon syrup. Although to be fair, this was like their last drops of watermelon syrup available. Not as good as the classic flea market lemonade where they have those guys squeezing them out and then the sugar water and ice standing by. Ugh, this is a little bit of a bummer, not gonna lie. Not my favorite. This absolute monstrosity of a dessert is the Butter Pecan Limited Edition King Size Shake right here from Simply Chocolate. Uh, there is an entire slice of some kind of cake or pie on top of this that is just making me nervous the way it's balanced on top. So I think I might start by taking a bite of that, maybe dip it in a little whipped cream. Holy God, that is dense. 
This is almost like a fudge, it is so dense. It's like a really good blondie. It tastes good, but like this slice of blondie alone is probably like more than enough dessert for three people, let alone a massive king shot king-sized butter pecan milkshake with two chocolate-covered pretzel rods. I'm gonna try to balance that back on top and get a sip of this. You can see there's some delightful lining on there. It's pretty solid. Wish there's a little more butter pecan flavor. And the milkshake's a little bit loose. I prefer those like nice, substantial, like thick milkshakes. And this one's a little bit runny. I like the butter pecan flavor, but it tastes like it was kind of like half ice cream and half milk. Not like mostly ice cream with just enough milk to turn it liquid. I'm gonna try a fool's errand of carefully extracting the pretzel rod. Mmm, I love a good chocolate covered pretzel rod. I will say for the $15 you pay for the shake, they do give you a buttload of food. Probably my favorite part, way too dense and thick to eat this entire thing, but like a really nice chewy brownie but blondie. And now I'd say I'm officially about to explode, so cheers.